Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around October 10th. Let's see what comes up. The lovers reversed and the three of wands reversed. So this is separation, disconnection, detachment. Three of wands reversed is unprepared, unprepared for a separation of some sort. There's lack of foresight here. So somebody didn't see that a separation was coming. This is the end of a contract. Okay. There's disharmony, so there's going to be a disconnection. The sun, the sun reversed. So the sun reversed is sadness, okay? Sadness over this separation. So there's going to, this is a sad separation, okay? It is. Lovers reverse is conflict, is harmony broken relationship of some sort somebody is detaching from something that isn't there's no growth here this is lack of happiness false impressions um, we have a broken uh, relationship maybe there's been some sort of third party interference here this is separating from a third party it is separating from uh, an unhappy situation, put it that way. Nine of Swords. So, Nine of Swords. That is anxiety, despair. Uh, why is this happening? Why is this separation? Somebody's going to be grieving. There's grieving here. Grieving over a loss. I mean, that is, that's what that is, okay? That, that, not, that is grieving over the separation. Grieving over the disconnection. Uh, not happy at all. Um, there's some sort of, it may, it may have something to do with children, okay? Because the sun can represent children. Um, it's the end of a contract. Unforeseen. Okay, unforeseen separation, unprepared. Now, it could be dealing with a Leo, it could be dealing with a Gemini, it doesn't have to be, it could be anybody, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Either way, this is uh, despair, it's anguish, hurt. Why? 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 That's why. Um, Six of Wands. So we have a fighter here. This is a warrior, the Six of Wands. This is somebody that um, wants to be recognized. Probably has just ended a fight. You know, has, is, is, this is the end of a fight. Okay, it is the end of a fight. This is, this is. It's like, I'm all done fighting. Okay, it's the end of a conflict. The only way, and there's been conflict, and the only way, you know, is, is to go. So somebody is leaving behind a conflict. They're leaving it behind them. Um, now this, this Six of Wands is, uh, this, this guy is very powerful, very knowledgeable. Um, has been through some sort of battle, okay, but the battle is over. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is hard work being recognized. Somebody is going to be recognized as well. They may have also been urged to leave or told to leave.
there's a change in status here. Somebody is going from uh, being in a disharmony or uh, unharmonious contract that they're leaving that contract behind. Okay, and this is like headed towards stability, headed towards security. Now this is a golden opportunity. Somebody has taken an opportunity. This is about winning. It's about victory. They're he somebody's headed towards victory, but it comes after a fight because that is conflict. So there's some sort of conflict that moves somebody in a new direction because the six is their movement movement towards stability movement towards security now there's hard work ahead because the knight of war of pentacles is about hard work the hierophant Seven of Cups and the Empress. Somebody may be dealing with a Taurus. We have Taurus a couple times. Um, but this is options. Exploring options. Somebody's exploring their options. They're thinking about their options. They're thinking about commitment. They're thinking about unconditional love because the Empress is unconditional love. This is the birth of a new life. This is a rebirth. The Hierophant is about commitment. It's about marriage. It's about uh, believing. Believing in oneself. Listening to your gut. Somebody may be listening to their gut. They may be being guided by a higher power to explore their options and go after unconditional love. Because the unconditional love is the Empress. The Empress is very abundant. She's beautiful. She's gentle. She does everything with love. Somebody is definitely thinking. They're thinking about their options. And they're thinking about, you know, marriage or commitment or, or love, okay? They're starting thinking about a new life. There's a higher power involved here, right? Because the Hierophant represents God or, a, you know, a channeler. You know, it's a, it's a direct connection to God. Um, we may also be dealing with, we have a father and a mother. Okay, the, the Hierophant is father. This is a mother. So something about a father and a mother. Um... Now, she's about to give birth. Now, this mother is about to deliver something. She's about to deliver. She can deliver. She's a creator. The Empress creates life. She creates everything with love. So, I feel like I feel like this Empress, she's the pick, right? She's the pick of the litter. Somebody is thinking about this Empress. Hmm. Now, yeah, this is the end of a fight. It's the end of a third party, I believe. I think there's been some sort of third party inter interference. And third party interference doesn't—it doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a family member. It can be a friend. Whatever. I. But I. It does look like it's a lover with the lover's card. Okay. There is going to be a disconnection. Could have something to do with a child, though, with that sun card reverse. There's going to be a separation. Uh, we have an individual that is very strong, very determined to uh, move into something more stable, move into something more solid, move into something more practical, more long-term. I feel like whoever this person is that is making a choice is... Uh, doing so because they don't want to fight anymore. They're not happy where they've been. There's no growth there. It's been dark. It's been, you know, it's not what it was cracked up to be. Whatever. There's been, there was too much tension. There was too much disharmony. There was just, there may, may have not have been any uh, 
a sexual connection or attraction or something like that. Anyhow, I feel like we have an individual that is uh, finding their, I don't know, it's almost like they recognize that there's no, they don't, well, they, maybe they just don't want to fight anymore. They, they just recognize that they don't want to fight anymore and that it's time to go. It's time to, you know, this is somebody that is noble. The Six of Wands is somebody that is noble that has been fighting. Okay, because the Five of Wands right here, that's a fight. This person has been fighting. They've been competing, you know. They've been trying to prove themselves, but they're done. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. You know, I just want to be happy. Somebody has been in an unhappy partnership that, you know, hasn't been uh, fulfilling. It's been, it's been, uh, it almost feels like it's been a nightmare, okay. Um, and... I feel like this person just says, you know what? It's really time for me to go. It's really, I got to do, this is integrity, okay? I got to do the right thing. It's time for me to go. I got to do the right thing. So somebody is going to make a choice um, based, I think, it's integrity. They're, they're ready to stop fighting and do the right thing. So somebody is going to be making a choice to separate from somebody that, you know, just isn't doing it for them, Okay. And I think it, what's, what's happening is is that they have another option because the Seven of Cups is options and their option is beautiful. Okay, the Empress, she is the, she's the pick of the litter. Okay, she is. She's the, she's, she is. She's abundant. She's beautiful. She's loving. She's sensual. She uh, creates. Okay, this is a creator. She's not lacking for anything. Everybody wants to help her. Um, everybody loves her, okay? Um, so we, I feel, feel like we have a, an individual that is really thinking about their options and they have an option to be with this, you know, empress. And I think that they're ready to just give up. They're ready to give up fighting. I feel like this person has been lonely due to disillusionment, you know. They they were there's false impressions. They were trying I mean it's almost like they were trying to pretend that they were happy in their partnership that they were in. They pretended. But it feels like now they're getting real because this is very realistic being realistic. Somebody is, is, is coming to terms or coming to reality, you know. Now, the Hierophant is about marriage. It is about commitment. Um, and there could be a confession. There's somebody, there could be a confession. I feel like there is some sort of divine guidance here as well because this is a higher power. Okay, the Hierophant is a direct connection to God. It's a higher power. It's the highest authority that is, I feel like, guiding somebody to go after unconditional love. Love is love is where it's at. So this is the end of a conflict. It really is. It's the end of a battle. This is finding a solution. This is... Uh, focusing on a solution. I feel like we have an individual that has is 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 exhausted and fed up with fighting. And that's what happens. That's what that's what pushes them to uh I feel like face their fears in some way. I also feel like this person is being, uh, they're getting a lot of messages. You know, their gut is talking to them or God is talking to them or something like that. I think there's a fight that ensues with their uh, current uh, partner that isn't, uh, there's some sort of fight that uh, ends, okay, it ends the partnership. Because that is a separation. The, the, the lover's reverse is a separation. So I think there's a fight that causes a, a breakup. And I think this everything happens for a reason, right? I 
I think that we have an individual here that is acting out of self-love. I think somebody stayed in an unhealthy relationship or unhealthy partnership. I don't know why. They wasted a lot of time doing that though. Maybe three years. Somebody wasted a lot of time um, competing and playing games and fighting and whatever. But it's over. It's over. It's over. I, I do feel like we have an individual that is making a decision to separate from somebody that they wasted time with. And I think that they're they're doing that because it's almost like they, they just realize. It's like a wake-up call. It's like they just realize this isn't me. You know, this isn't real. It's like they get some sort of reality check. Somebody's gut is telling them, this is gut, is telling them that there's more, that there's something better. I mean, the Empress is heartfelt. She's caring. She's domestic. She's motherly. She does everything with love. Could some, somebody may be something about the mother of, of their children as well. So I don't know how that resonates, but that's just what I heard. Um, anyhow, somebody's going to be thinking about... Uh, a life with this empress. If you are married watching this, I feel as though, if you're married, say you're married, I feel like if you've been fighting, things have been tense, married, and I'm not talking about, you know, you're just in a relationship. If you're married, okay, if you got that ring, okay, if you got that, well, yeah, it goes on, it goes on this hand. <laughs> Anyhow, if you got that ring, okay, then I think your relationship is going to get better. This is about marriage. Somebody is thinking about their future, and I think they hadn't thought about their future. I think if there's if you if you are married already, your things may get better. Things may get better. If you're not married and you're in a relationship right now that is one-sided and it's unrequited love, I don't see it working out. Okay, I see that somebody's going to be leaving because not what their heart wants. The sun is about heart. So I feel like this is the end of a false contract. Okay, that that is that is the lover's reverse. It's the end of a false contract and a coming together in the future with uh, unconditional love. Maybe the separation happens now and the new beginning is in, it feels like three months. What is it now? November, December, January. So anyway, I, I do feel like uh, this is the end. This is the end of a, of a conflict. It's the end of a tense situation where there's a lot of game play. There's a lot of uh, competition. There's a lot of fighting. There's just a lot of games being played. I feel like it's the end. Okay, I feel like it's the end of, of, of the uh, charade. So yeah, I see a separation. Everything happens for a reason. This is a warrior, right? This is a soldier here that has has uh, been involved in some sort of fight. That fight is over. The decision is made. I'm done fighting. Somebody is giving up a fight. They are. They're done fighting. They're done playing games. They're done being unhappy. And they're going to a better place. And the only way to do that 
is to separate. So yeah, I see a separation. Good luck. <laughs>